Well, you know, for the first time, you know what I'm not for the first time. I mean, been seeing it. But you know, every time when these police take a stand to testify about the so-called dangerous people that they escorted, you know what I'm saying? And you know, the defense keeps showing us that I when I'm gonna relax, these people were never dangerous. And I'll be like, huh? Advocate him what are you saying? Is like, no, 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 man. Relax. Bohan and Danzi has never been this dangerous as they as they paint him. So the, the sad reality or the sad part here is he's being portrayed as this dangerous, dangerous guy that deserves to be escorted with powerful weapons and people who are skilled. But what they are forgetting is the crime that they say he, look, he committed. It is a crime. Uh, during the crime scene, he's portrayed as a dumbest thief ever. So what's the point of escorting him the way you are escorting him if he on the crime scene is painted as the dumbest thief, but now you are escorting him as a dangerous thief? The two does not mix, does not colorate. You know what I'm saying? That is exactly what we are seeing. We are just seeing people proving their inconsistency and their incompetence. You know what I'm saying? It just proves that one way or the other, the story is fabricated. Uh, if you don't get what I'm saying, you will never understand. That's why Pella, at some point, Advocate Ramasepede said, these are the, the, the most, uh, the, uh, um, Zanzi's dumbest thieves. But, as I'm about to get, get into this one, you will realize that they are painted as the most dangerous people that deserve to be escorted and make sure that these dangerous thieves are escorted. And you say, wait a minute. Isn't these two different things contradictory? I, I, I don't know, maybe me, I'm dumb myself. But before you can prove my dumbness, you just need to listen to me from the beginning of this video until the end of this video because at this particular moment, I am so... But, 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 but before, you know what I'm saying, I release my anger on this video. I don't have to take this journey with me. If you are, then please stick around. As you stick around, there's just a few things that I'm requesting from you guys. Guys, one, subscribe. Two, like the video. Three, comment in the comment section below. Four, I put it to you that you share this video now. I also put it to you that you watch the ads because that's, that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. I also put it to you now, guys, that you join, become a member of this YouTube channel. You know, I have a problem. You know, my problem is, before I get into the video, I need to address my problems. My problems is, as of now, uh, the current stat says, 64% of you guys, you just watch my videos without subscribing. What's up with you guys? You fear commitment even when commitment is free. Why? What's up with you guys? If you are a woman, you don't deserve a husband. If you are a man, if you are, if you are a man, you don't deserve a wife. You don't deserve a girlfriend. If you are a woman, you don't deserve a man. A man, you shouldn't have a boyfriend because you can't commit to this channel just by subscribing, watching, watching this video till the end. You can't do things that are free. You know, free, free, free. We need to reduce the number. You don't want to commit, guys. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I put it to you. That if you want a uh, husband or a boyfriend, you first need to commit now by subscribing. Let's leave the ones who don't want to commit. You know, Nizong <laughs> Shisisa. I'm joking. Uh, all right. Now, uh, let's continue. Uh, um, he's talking about the fact that uh, oh, uh, look, did, look, these guys who were transporting, oh, who were excluding accused number two because accused number two is dangerous. You know what I'm saying? His name is Jonathan. He says on the day he was transporting Dazi, he was with his crew member, Listering, who is also a, a, a colored. Okay, yeah, I think so. Yeah, after you after your conversation with Mohane at the garage, the accused was taken off the Fortuna and put in your vehicle. Jonathan, my lord, I met the accused at Morocco Police Station, not at the garage. Oh, we're going somewhere here. You push the seat back. 
pressing hard on his knees. Sergeant Butelezi then look, put a, pl a, a, look, a plastic on his head. Jonathan, no, my lord, that's not true, my lord, that's not true, my lord. <laughs> so shy, this guy, when he sees me, he's like, you, where are you? Where are you? Okay. So is that uh, they move and uh, look they move to another place where Brigadier Kinunda arrived with another person. Uh, there was also another meeting in the presence of accused, the handcuffs fastened at the back, were then removed. Jonathan denies that and say, My Lord, that never happened. The assault continued until Sergeant Mohana got a call. Jonathan, no, I was never with the accused at the garage. Jonathan, I look, I met the accused at the SAPS Morocco, not at the garage. Then my banner went into your car. Jonathan, no, that did not happen. Look, um, look, Gomezulu says, and Butelezi was standing near the accused. Jonathan, no, 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 no. That did not happen. Gomezulu says, you then pull, you then push the front seat back towards the accused. Gomezulu. Then put it to the witness that accused number two, Bonganan was at the garage where they started torturing him in the company of Constable Loko Mohane and Mabena. Jonathan, I was never at the garage with the accused and the sage. And I'm like, do we even, can we even trust you? But wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Ngomazul Uti, between yourself and Mabena, one of you poured. Poured water, uh, water. We look. Poured him with water on the front part of his body. That is when Prakatia Kinunda told him to tell the truth about Mayi was dead. Jonathan, I have no knowledge of that. Atum Gomezulu. Remember, the, the, now, let me remind you guys. He was arrested on the sixteenth of June, uh, two thousand and twenty, and you know it was winter time, right? So he was poured with water in wind, and do you know. Uh, to some of you guys who have been into, to some of us who have been into different camps, uh, when they want to discipline you during winter, they will take you out and then they will, you, you're sitting in, oh, look on, on the tap, uh, on, below the tap, and then they open a tap. I'm not going to tell you the type of training that, or the type of camps that we've been into, but in some of the camps that we've been into, some of us, that's how you get disciplined in the middle of winter. They open a tap. And, and when you sit in the, below the tap, they open the tap. You bring in your blanket. Hey! But actually, we are not there anyway. Mgomezulu, you took the accused towards the stairs where there was a, a still pot and you removed one hand cup, uh, one hand cup from one of his hand and you attach it to the pole. Jonathan, I have no knowledge of that. Mgomezulu says, Bongane Kininda was present, who is actually the brigadier. Right, Jonathan, I have no knowledge of that. Mgomezulu, Mokwane was never there uh, during the assault. Jonathan, it's such a and Mokwane will call us when, well, look, when it's time to escort and hand, o look, and hand over accused. He was always around the accused. Oh, in other words, this guy is saying at some point he Mokwane left them. Uh, so, look, he left accused with them and then they will continue doing whatever they want to do. Oh, look, oh. Advocate Mgomezul, Ote, I further put it to you that this man was electro. Cuted. That word there, electrocuted. Hey, I don't know. I mean, I, electrocuted, it's uh, derived from tortured, but with an element of electricity. So can you imagine? They put this plus and minus, you know, those who know batteries, you know, car batteries. So if you put the my the plus and the minus in one in one place, and then you most you know you see most that's back goes in. So now imagine we have seen it in the movie where they put it to you to your body, and you hear a person. Ah! Ah! That is what is, is happening with Bongan and Dams. At least, guys, movies. But our movies, guys, are made of something that is in existence, right? So that is what was happening when Bongan and Dams was being 
when, 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 when he was being electrocuted, that's what was happening. He would be crying, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I don't know, I'm just thinking to my mind. Then say then the other one was like, ah, oh, guys, leave this one. And like the other one says, you will talk the truth. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know who said that, guys. I didn't say somebody said that. Mgomezo, during the process of using that device and the plastic bag removed from his head, he started bleeding uh, from his nose. Do you also dispute that? Jonathan says, yes, I do, my lord, Mgomezo. No? Uh, okay, Mgomezulu. There was a device used to electrocute, uh, electrocute the accused uh, on his stomach. You, you, Maben and Butelezu were exchanging using this device. Jonathan, I don't know that. So imagine these guys being, hey, yeah, yeah. and then they are busy with this thing. That, hey, that electricity thing, guys. I've seen it in the movie. I'm like, huh, uh -huh. but the good thing. Is that hey, me and crime? Uh, but it doesn't mean that you know, in South Africa, for you to be arrested, you must have committed crime. We have seen it where a person has been arrested for a period of over 11 years, was sentenced 21 years, he served 11 years. After 11 years, it was then discovered that he did not commit that rape. If you want that story, go to uh, look the archives of Ukoze FM under the topic called Nipap Gebeng. Uh, by Uluk, Lady D or No Cause FM, you'll find that. Uh, there are so many stories of people there who have been wrongfully arrested, right? And um, there was this yeah, there was this story of this guy né, who was arrested. Um, he's from Fryhead. He was arrested because the, the woman fell in love with the police guy and the guy wasn't working. So they conspired and they said, this guy, um, this guy raped the daughter. And there, it appears like there was never um, DNA done. So he was arrested, served so many years. Um, after, after serving so many years, then it was discovered that that thing never happened. It was discovered when that lady confessed, right? There is a story that I was told during the weekend as well. I think I was driving, we were driving, not ours. We were driving through local through Jobic CBD when this person was telling me the story of this person eh, uh, who... Uh, who was, uh, who, who, look, this story is not of people who get tortured. Né? This person was arrested for, 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 say, for years. It was because of there was a conflict between two neighbors. So this neighbor decided to open a case against this one and um, forge this, this rape. And then this guy went and served in prison. Um, look, it was, look, when he was released, he, he, he look, they said thanks to Christianity. He then convicted and he he then came back and forgive or forgave this family. And the daughter who the daughter whom uh said that he raped was was crying during this thing. They feared that he was going to avenge them, but he didn't. So I'm telling you about this thing of you know, I always thought that people who are Behind bars are people who have committed crime, but I've realized that not everybody who has been sentenced or who, 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 who has been behind bars really committed a crime. So it is it is possible that during this time or uh, during 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 the process of this uh, this thing of of electrocuting Bonganandanzi, he's bound to commit to, to confess to a crime that is never committed. You know why? There's another video that I watched uh under a channel Skim GP, right? Where Skim GP was saying that look, that guy was saying that uh, because of these things of belong being tubed and all the stuff electro electrocuted he ended up going to you know as he was he, he took the police and said I'm going to point oh I'm going to show you everything so he says that as they were passing with this police vehicle, if you are looking at them, you just say, even this one. So he says he arrested wrong people. And the intention was that, or he made them to arrest wrong people. The intention was that he just wanted them to focus on other people, uh, choke them, and so that he can at least buy time to himself. And he said his strategy was that he was gonna release them when they get to when they get to court. He was gonna tell the court that they don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? So he said that during that time, a lot of people got arrested, uh, whom he knew exactly that they did not commit all those crimes. 
all he wanted was the torture to look was the torture to at least he wanted them to torture somebody else except himself now so i'm just talking about this thing to say during this type of torture during the time of torture you are bound to confess to a crimes that you have never committed and uh, this phone is disturbing us i don't know what's going on with this phone um oh, let's let, let, let's close this one uh, okay yeah uh let's do this yes so yeah i'm just saying that you are bound to 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 the electro what what thing guys it is said that is not pop and meat you know um yeah so thanks to those who are okay let's continue then prakatia kinenda arrived carrying documents jonathan i don't know about that documents were signed by accused number two under the cohesion Jonathan, I have no knowledge of that. Mkomezulu, the exact word said by Mokwane was Yegelani Dima, Yegelani Diman, meaning leave this man. Mm. It is my instruction that from the first time Mokwane didn't participate in the torturing of the accused, he was always outside. Jonathan, my lord, Mokwane Mo will ask us to, for assistance in either escorting the accused number, look, the accused person, but we did not, um, Jonathan says, they never saw Prekatiak in the Atmoroka police station in Gomezulu. They, then they then proceeded to Primrose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, that was uh the story guys are so hmm, so touching and at the same time you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself hmm, what was happening to bongan and Tanza during this time after the plastic bag was removed, he started bleeding from his noise. Jonathan, I have no knowledge of that. The accused will come and tell this court. Um, I only believe he is truly look uh, uh, when the accused started when, when okay it says when the accused was was escorted to Boxback. Where was the escort from and by who? Jonathan, it was with myself and few others. It was in the afternoon. Okay. Now we're going somewhere. But as we are going somewhere, guys, I want you guys to know I'm going to be introducing stories of people. Uh, there are stories that I'm doing, some other cases of people, uh, very, very bad stories, like very, very bad stories. One of the stories, okay, a few of them, not one of them, but few, oh, some of them, in fact, uh, one, there is a lady that uh, uh, look, uh, has written a story where she was accused, she was actually sexually har harassed at work and all the stuff. I'm bringing that story. The other story that I'm bringing as well is a story of um, a, a, of certain individuals that were chased or were dismissed by this media company, big media company in South Africa, big, big media company in South Africa. And there's only one, you know what I'm saying, because of they did not vaccinate. There's a story that I'm bringing in as well that I'm going to be doing as well or I will release soon. It is a story of a people of these two couples. I think they are colored, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they're from Cape Town. Uh, they gave birth to their two months old child that was taken away from them but when this child um when look it was taken she look the child was taken away from them uh, in the process of time this child died and they were told that it's natural death but when they were looking at the face of this child it was full of bruises and now they are seeking for justice so if you are a journalist if you are in um a police if you are in a private sector if uh, look doing forensic investigation and all the stuff please the stories that i'm about to release please um uh guys Guys, please help if you are a low firm please take the stories maybe on pro bono please uh take the stories but it, look if you are in an investigative journalist uh or investigative journalism please take the stories uh, further i'm gonna give leave this information if you want more information about the stories you just contact me i'll give you i'll talk to the people and then i'll, I'll look you know you'll start you, you, i want you to help these families as well i'm when the accused was escorted uh, to Boxback, where was look where was this where was this escort from and all the stuff and then let's go to this one. Mgomazulu Mapena came back saying they found an ammunition in his room. The accused asked how did they open the, the, the how did they open yet he has the keys. There was no response. Jonathan, I can't comment on that one. They were talking about how they went and knocked at um the accused door without 
without having the local, without having everything, and they were kicking the doors and all the stuff. And then Jonathan says he has got no knowledge of that. But obviously, and like obviously, he wouldn't have knowledge of that because wow, that's a self-incriminating uh, thing. But yeah, actually now. Um, Gomez Zulu says Danzi was then taken to an, 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 uh, an area near a dumping site in Orlando where uh, the investigating officer Kininda forced him to sign a prepared document. Mr. Kininda took those documents and gave them to Rapado. I did not see him at Morocco police station. That is a mister. Mister. Gomezalu says, my pen uh, uh, came with the back in the, the, the ammunition. Dan asked, how did they manage to get that? Uh, let's leave that one. We've already covered that one. Right. Gomezalu says, on the event where Bongan and Tanzu was arrested, it was the 24th of June, the day the, the day of the confession before the magistrate crown. Yeah, Gomezulu, at that time, did you escort him to Boxback? Uh, Jonathan around about 13 to 1400. Gomezulu, on the day on the day to rest in, on, on, on the way to rest in back, where where look where you met with uh, Mahola. He was left unattended and they proceeded to his room and then they came back with a bag of ammunition and asked how he had, uh, look, okay, we have already covered that as well. Sorry, guys. Did the magistrate find you there? That was Mgome Zulu. No, we went to Miss Kronje's office. Mgo, look, she arrived after, right, Mgome Zulu. Um, Jonathan says, no, we found her there. Okay. Mgomezulu. Look. Right. Otigo Mgomezulu tells Jonathan Kronya's testimony that she found armed officers outside the office. I am sure he was talking about us because uh, we were armed. Did, did you notice something here? What I notice here is. Who found who? Did Cronier found the, 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 the Metropolis guys or the Metropolis guys found Cronier? Do you see the contradicting testimonies that we supposed to believe it as nothing but the truth? And if we don't believe it as nothing but the truth, then hi. Tina, we are siding with criminals. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, duh, who's siding with criminals? Because, come on, I mean, I'm just, I'm just being realistic, guys. And uh, in my realisticness, I cannot just say right is wrong and wrong is right. Come on, guys. If wrong is wrong, wrong is wrong and it ends there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put my question where it's necessary. I, those who've got chest pains issues, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm like a train moving towards this direction. If you stand on my path, then you are most likely to get injured. But if you do just allow me to pass, then you're not going to get injured. The other way, where, where people, because they've got chest pains issues, you know, <laughs> the other way to deal with them, we always ask them, what I vessel call or when Zaja? Because we found this, we are sure we look at the facilities. And when we are sure, what I vessel call or he? We are going to to those who don't know that, what I'm trying to say is, you can't be you, you you. If a preacher is preaching, quoting certain scriptures, you cannot be offended because it's not directed to you. You can't, you mustn't be offended. It's, it's that key, man. Come on, guys. But let's continue. When he came outside, he was carrying an ammunition and accused him to ask, how did he get that? I uh, Okay. Uh, look, it's, look it is, it, it's your evidence that uh, Mr. Mokwana may, made copies of your appointment certificate. You also had your pocketbooks. So it must have been recorded when you arrived. Jonathan, that's correct. Mgomezulu, prior to closing off the door of the office and uh, interviewing Danzi, where did you go? Jonathan, we were outside at their vehicle. Mgomezulu, 
His evidence is that he he did not sign any document in Kronia's office. Jonathan, I wouldn't know that. When I when I heard that, I was like, I'm, I, I'm, I, I can guess what is going to what is what he is going to say. But he is then say exactly what I thought he was going to say. Mkomezulu, you then escorted the accused. Look, Jonathan, Sergeant Mokwane told us that they were done. Um, and there, look, we then hand, we then handed, uh, look, headed to the office. He was taken to, he was taken into the Fortuna and headed to Loko Mokwane and we went to um, Roka Police Station. The version of accused is that he didn't sign any document inside the office of me, look, of Miss Cronier. Jonathan, I wouldn't know that. Then you went on, uh, you went into an industrial area uh, in Chimistin and assaulted and ordered, uh, ordered him to sign those documents. Then, Mgomezulu says they went into Chimistin where he was forced to sign. Blood spilled into the document. Jonathan from Boxberg Court to Morocco Post. I did not see any injuries on the accused. You know what I think here? Uh, because this is a matter of investigation. Um, I, I, I would like to know, one, if we can get the tracker, the tracker can tell us a lot, number one. We can find information about their movement, the movement that they are denying. We can find it by at least going into the tracker and looking at the tracker report around those days, right? And collaborate it with time. Number two, we can look at their cell phones and look at the cell, the cell phone movements because this is under investigation, right? And I think it's, it's only possible to do that under docket um 375 where a lot of police officers will be charged for defeating the ends of justice so i think that that is where then maybe you can open this type of investigation where you are saying let us then um look at their movement and investigate them and you know what i'm saying and then thirdly if the, the look remember that the saps have got a mapping device as well their cars have got a mapping device on the screen so we can then go into that mapping device and look at where it went so that's number three um i don't know about their radio if it is uh i don't know if it is in, look in, connected to the internet or what but if it's connected to the internet then it's again Number four, that's when we can, that's how we can trace them. We can look at their communication via the radio that they use. You know what I'm saying? The one that you normally find it here in the police by radio. I'm not referring to the one that you are using to listen to the, so that radio as well, the one that they are using for communication, we can look into it and look at the trace, their movement the day. Uh, I'm just looking at the other ones, except their personal belongings, such as the cell phones, um, uh what what, what the, the, look i think their cars as well are fitted with certain systems you know what i'm saying which is computer based so I, i'm not sure but it appears like it, their cars are fitted with a look best equipment so we can check into such computer systems that are fitted in that car but obviously I'm, I'm not a lawyer so the lawyers will know exactly what to do if they were to find these guys but look because Somehow, the, their stories, you know, does not collaborate at all. So since their stories does not collaborate at all, it means that under Docket 375, we will then find a lot of truth because we will then be investigating each and every single one of them. But what they have done right, right now, uh, they've just opened a lot of loopholes. You know what I'm saying? Miss Cronier says this, but they are dis they are disputing or they are contradicting what Miss Miss Cronier says. So who is telling us the truth between the two? You know what I'm saying? But let's move on, Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan. Uh, on our arrival at Morocco, it was around was it Morocco, right? It was around about sixteen hundred, which is four o'clock, right? Mohan signed him in, um, Gomezulu. That was the time you saw accused number two. Uh, Uchenatan says yes, that's correct. Okay. Hmm, Gomezulu, did you know accused number two didn't bath since the sixteenth of June, twenty twenty? Jonathan, I didn't know that. Mgomezulu. And was not in contact with his family. Jonathan, I didn't know that. Um, let me ask this question. Uh, 
if a person is arrested, is it not his right to be in contact with his family though he's arrested? It's a question or it's an ask. Answer the ask. You know, those who get chest pain when we ask these questions, now they want to hunt us down. Hey, we are just asking the ask. So please, don't be offended by us, us asking the ask. Because the ask is logical to ask the ask. <laughs> but man, what are you saying? What is this ask? Hey, honey, yeg. Focus, listen to the video. You know what I'm saying? Don't follow the ask. <laughs> Gomezulu, you know, accused number two had not taken a bath. We already covered that one. Gomezulu now turns into the uh, ex code from Morocco to Fos Lourdes. Gomezulu, during Miss Cronier's testimony, there was a performer which the accused denied he signed. He denied those, look, those were the documents he had signed because he remembered that, uh, that, that, that once uh, one he had signed had blood on it. How did they clean the blood? Oh, there was another document. Huh. They wouldn't have given the one with the blood because it would have suggested otherwise. It would have meant that mm, this guy was tortured because where was this blood coming from? Yeah, yeah, I got them. Yeah, you, you see most that logic there. Hey, I need to I need to make sure before they start because it's during during uh the the quarter's agenda this time as of me recording this video. Uh, he arrived there and it was again leo. Jonathan continues to say he does not know whether the conversation Tanzi had with Colonel Raparu. He took the accused to Fosoras after the statement. Jonathan says he handed over the suspect to Sergeant Mohan Lokom Gomezul. Where you told the escort, where you told to escort them to Fort Lauderdale? Did they tell you why? Jonathan, it was mentioned that the accused uh, had a court appearance in Fort Lauderdale. Gomezul. At what stage did you escort Mohane and the suspect from Fort Lauderdale? Uh, Jonathan, we dis disbarred from the court. Our escort was completed. Jonathan says, stays in the vehicle when he when the accused entered the court. Mgomezulu, the accused will deny entering the court. Oh my God. There's another good news that I, I, th I thought it was it is worth reporting on. Uh, I saw it under police uh, police Twitter, South African police Twitter, right? They reported the following. Efforts to, to cap various crime in our community continue to yield successful outcome following joint operation executed by members of the South African Police Service, EMPD, Houting, uh, Houting Traffic, uh, CPF, Home Affairs and other law enforcement agencies. A total of 355, 357 suspects uh, were arrested. Members also took um, uh, guns off the street used in the commission of crime. Operation Chanel, safe festive season, NP. Guys, we can't help but congratulate the police, the South African police service for this type of service. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want us to be these people who are ungrateful, who only focuses on bad things, but we are deliberately denying or trying by all means not to focus on good things. I am not that person. If a person is doing good, is doing good. If a person is doing bad, is doing bad. And that's why I'm, I, I will stand. You know what I'm saying? If, look, 357 people were arrested. Kudos to the police. Keep it up. Guys, I always tell you, police are very important for uh, for the safekeeping of uh, of the constitution and uh, peace look, peacekeeping in this country. Police are very important. But what we're complaining about, we're complaining about incompetent police. We are not complaining about good police and police that are just doing their work. Here, kudos to the police. Keep it up. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys. Okay, let's continue. 
And then the accused will deny entering for Slora's court. Jonathan, I saw him entering to look at the court. He will tell the court that he did not sign any document in front of Cronier. I don't know anything about that. Mgomezulu, you then took him to Jimistin. My lord, there's no th nothing like that happened. I did not, I did not do it, my lord. Mgomezulu, when you entered this box, Accused, look, when you entered this box, um, accused number two called me and told me that um, I wish I could cry because of, because of the way he assaulted me. Meaning when he saw you, he remembers exactly the things that you have done to accuse number two. You know what I'm saying? Guys, let me keep quiet. The more we talk about Jonathan, the more he's gonna hate me, and the more the look, his friends are gonna come after me. They, they are, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but I can't help but talk about Jonathan. Come on, guys. I'm not. I'm not coming for the man's job. I'm just doing my work, and my work requires me to talk about what I see in front of me, and that is incompetent police. That's it. That's what I see. You know what I'm saying? And we, we still need to say this, guys. We are not saying um, these people are just innocent in everything. We are just saying that when it comes to the Mayua crime, ah. Maybe other ones, but the Mayua crime, mm, I call now. We, have, we haven't found the evidence that linked them to that crime. You know what I'm saying? Even within, with, with this trial, look, with this thing uh, called trial within the trial. I mean, come on, guys. I failed to find an evidence that really I can stand here and say, Whoa, these are criminals who murdered our goalkeeper. These must root in jail. No, I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, guys, I'm not convinced. This one's accused number one to five. Come on, guys. Me, I'm not convinced at all. But yeah, he responded by saying, My lord, I don't know this man. When I took instruction from him, uh, uh, look, he says that you were around. You, my pumulo, my banner are always around. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen to the answer. It is the answer for me. Oh, 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 he had said, you know, your name pop out every now and again. That's what the man said. That's what Ngomezul said. He was like, why is your name always popping up? Why can't we see po like other police, you know what I'm saying, police officers, but we're only seeing you. Why? And then the guy he, had he not said this, it would have been bad. But he decided that he's going, he's going to say this unprovoked, guys. Let me fix my 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 my, my You know what I'm saying? Unprovoked, he said. That's because we are we might have been the most trusted people, and I'm like, my brother, you shouldn't have said this. This one. Shouldn't have said this one. Are you trying to tell me that the other police... Because the, the opposite of the most trusted is true as well. <laughs> so what confidence are you, are you saying? Are you saying that there are police that we should trust and there are police that we shouldn't trust? Like from this statement alone, we can derive a lot of meaning and we can come up with... From this statement alone, guys, there are a lot of things that can be said about this statement alone. Are you trying to tell me that huh? you I'm not going to say anything because he probably hates me. So I wouldn't say anything about that. But uh, we can derive a lot of things from uh, what, what this guy say. I, I think he shouldn't have said this. He opened a lot of loopholes. Now, let's leave the part that uh, the exact word used by Mohana was uh, the suspect never entered our vehicle. Uh, that's when he was taken back to the Fortuna. And uh, <laughs> so I came across some comments here, guys. Because uh, it's going to be interesting because we need to look at certain comments here. So I came across some very interesting comments. Somebody was saying, I swear at this rate, Baloy will... <laughs> I swear at this rate, 
but lawyer will end up calling all of us state witnesses and I'm like <laughs> hey guys it's not me ne? it is people it's not me don't blame me who said that let me get it for you uh, the person who says that it will look at devo hope he three oh tab they're going to call all of us state witnesses okay actually lap um I'm going to pick up with Loko Jonathan about the observation of the accused. Um, did he look like a normal person? Uh, Jonathan says yes. Do you remember uh, Do you remember ever taking him to a medical facility? Uh, Jonathan is, says no. I'm going to send to accused number one. Were you present when he was arrested? Jonathan says no. I'm going to did you ever come across any information that he required medical attention? I'm going to says no. I'm going to say Loko um he will come and tell this court that he was arrested on the 3rd of may 2020 and you were there so do you remember the question that he said that when you appear your name is appearing in a lot of things why it says because i might be trusted so when accused number one was arrested he was there coincidentally accused number two is being transported is there coincidentally okay Jonathan, that's not true. The first time I met him, it was on the 5th of June, 2020, uh, for the pointing out. Mgomezulu, do you remember when he, wa when he was arrested? He will come and tell this court that he was arrested on the 3rd of May in your own presence. And it's like, no, come on, no. Mgomezulu, do you know if accused number one was arrested with a warranty? Um, Jonathan says, no, I don't know anything. Accused number, look, Mgomezulu, accused number one was arrested look what he was uh, was arrested and he was found in tembisa look uh Vusmuz in the company of his friends do you know the importance of pocketbook um jonathan says yes my lord i know and then gomezulu says when the accused was arrested by mapena mohane and others he was found in tembisa uh it's called what vusimuzi section in the company of his friends right it was nice reason look going through vusimuzi section as as you learn we're not there do you know if do you know if accused number one was arrested with a warranty okay we've already covered that one uh Okay, we've already covered that. This one, good team. He never signed any document. Uh, the document he signed had, look, had blood that came from him. Um, okay, Jonathan answered and said this. Um, uh, you then travel after photos were taken and followed vehicle of Colonel Hatebe as an escort. You must always be vigilant to safeguard the safety of Hatebe. Is it not that true? And then Mgomezul says, Yes, my lord, that's true. And the Utugo Mgomezul, on arrival at a particular place, Hatebe and the accused, um, then I, I look, I, I said, what that's the word? That the interpreter use, use, look, highlighted the vehicle or alighted the vehicle. That word just ran out. I, I, I like the word that is often used by the interpreter. Oh, Mr. Jonas. Um, from Valeria to Fosloras on the 5th of June, accused number one was assaulted in Fosloras, taken to Alberton Police Station. Uh, you didn't see any suspect in the cell. Jonathan says, no, my lord. Um, how did you know who the suspect was? And uh, No, my lord, Tina, we didn't even know who the suspect was. Uh, at this moment, they will never know anything as they should not, shouldn't know anything because, you know, they want to appear like they don't know anything. But yeah, Mgomazulu continued and say, you were present when accused was arrested. Jonathan says, no. Uh, will you, will the look, accused be lying if he said, he look, if he said you were there when he was arrested? And Jonathan says, no, nah, he will be lying, my lord. I was not there. Mgomazulu, he, uh, look, uh, he had the knowledge that the, uh, the look, that where the MPT was uh, was outside, Jonathan says, I can't answer him. Uh, remember, the question was coming from the fact that Hatebe has testified saying that uh, where they were, it was a very small space, so the accused could see the police. You see, you're seeing now people that are supposed to be trusted, people who took an oath and said that we will defend the constitution, we will speak the truth, we will arrest the wrong ones, we will applaud the good ones. Now their statement is contradicting. The other one, Hatebe says, I do I remember this one vividly. Hatebe said, no, 
um I said accused number accused number I think it's accused number one he where he was he would have been able to see anything that was happening that is those are the words that were coming from the mouth of this man he was like no he was in a position where he could see anything that was happening to him right so we said oh then if that's the case he said that uh, there were police he ended definitely sure accused number one saw those police but this police says hey, Tina, we were not done i'm like duh who's lying now who's lying remember guys anything you say under oath is supposed to be the nothing but the truth but it's another story when everything that is said under oath it is contradictory it's just one of those things that is very unfortunate but uh, he says, no, we were outside the CS now. Utum Gomezulu, you were in the, look, you were, you were with the colonel when you arrived. Uh, Jonathan says, yes, you could see them inside that place. Gomezulu says, yes, you look, um, were they in a position to see your presence? Jonathan, look, Jonathan says, I will say yes. Right. Yeah, so I think that's how, uh, that is when he was going towards the end of his cross-examination. I'm not going to go into Shololo's cross-examination because now it was, wow. It was, I just wanted to go through Mgomezulu's, uh, Mgomezulu alone, you know what I'm saying? Finish with Mgomezulu, then I'm going to get into Mshololo because Mshololo is up to something. No, Mgomezulu was up to something. Doing his part, doing the Lord's work. And I'm, I was like, Mshololo... I went, uh, uh, Gomezulu, I see you. I see where you're going. I see where you're going. You are taking a certain route. Mshololo came and said, I'm going to take a different route. But all the route, look, I turn Gomezulu and Mshololo, look, it will meet somewhere and it will make sense for them to journey together. But, whoa, guys, you know, in all of this thing, there is one faculty that I love the most, uh, that has been advertised, it is the faculty of uh, um, a lawyer, or being a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? I think I've, I've fallen in love with that field because of the way the lawyers have conducted themselves. I mean, every lawyer that I've participated in the Mayiwa case, it, they've made me realize the importance of having lawyers, right? Yeah, no, they've made me realize uh, I've always disrespected lawyers because of um, some things that we've heard, you know, but this case have elevated the dignity, have elevated um, the trust within lawyers. Uh, I don't know, I speak for myself. I will assume that others as well have gained trust in lawyers. It made me realize that if you have a good lawyer on your side, I, they will deal with things like I'm seeing now. I love you lawyers. Just know that if you are a lawyer, I'm glad I've got friends also who are lawyers. I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? Um, during this, during this, uh, who advocate, who Lokum um, had said some some things, and then when he was done, advocate uh, advocate Malo said, "Yeah, nah, he's got no uh, further questions," and Umumalo has said that, "Yeah, nah, he's got no." Uh, but further questions. Look, it's got no, uh, not further questions, but um, look, Nisi doesn't have questions and uh, Umalo did not have questions. But what we saw during this, during this, uh, the, the, especially during look, during Mgomezulu's approach, or during Mgomezulu's cross examination, we realized and we, we could see clearly that there was something from the state that. I think it, it it is safe to say that the state, uh, I mean, I'm talking about the likes of Abo Advocate Baloi, they need to prove their case beyond reasonable doubt. But, you know, I'm looking at the case right now and I'm asking myself, hmm, they said beyond reasonable doubt. Am I not having some doubt based on what I'm seeing? No. I, I don't know, I don't know. But I honestly don't believe that these are the right people. You know what I'm saying? I, I, this, this is me. Me, guys, I'm a, I'm a man born under sin subject to correction. You know? Uh, I, I, so far, I mean, I've never found even a single evidence that seeks to suggest that accused number one up to five are the right people that killed our favorite goalkeeper, Senzo Mayiwa. 
Secondly, good people, uh, just because they've committed a, a other crime somewhere else doesn't necessarily mean that the crime, this crime, must be pinned on them just because they've committed crime somewhere else. So I'm not in favor of uh, saying that just because somebody was once arrested, so any crime that is happening, it must be given to that person. I'm not that type of a person, so I'm not going to take anything in that I see and say just because you were once found on the wrong side of the law and then always you must be there. Number three, guys, um, I, I don't know, but from where I'm seated, I don't know about you, but from where I'm seated, I don't understand if I were the state right now, I will just say for the sake of, for the sake of the dignity of police and the image of South African police service in general, I will just throw this case away and then maybe begin with another prosecution because the, the more we continue with this, it's the more people are, look, the, the incompetence and the inconsistency within the South African police service and other sectors as well, it's the more it's getting exposed. And the, the more people are exposed to or having the idea of incompetent police, it's the more people will continue to lose faith in the South African police service. And it's not what you want. Because if people do not trust the, the South African police service, they are most likely to take the law upon their hands. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want that. So for the sake of a South African police service dignity and for the sake of the image and i am of the view that the organization is very important in our society but it's also the organization is full of people that do not understand their the sacredness of their job that job guys is very and i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna keep saying, saying this the job of a south african police service is very important but it is it, another story when the people that are supposed to be safeguarding the constitution and also uh, uh, apprehending people who are found on the wrong side of the constitution is another thing when their characters as well in the process uh, look, are called to question and um, upon investigation, their characters are found wanting way. It's another, th it's another thing where we cannot trust our very own police like we are seeing. So I'm saying this case, guys, is doing more damage in the South African police service image you know what i'm saying if it was according to me i would just say let's end this you know what i'm saying but it's not according to me maybe according to you you see things differently tell me what you think about it in the comment section below as the conversation continue until the next video please take care kendall i'm interested in the erc police what did you call them empd empd yes. when when was the first time you saw them in the in the CSC, my lord, uh, the the church office is so yeah. small, so they were standing just almost at the door of the cells. La ma EMP tige ngawa bona ge church office ngoba ge inga ne ge church ngapa be minji emnyango ge wa 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 masel. And that is before you signed out, uh, Mr. Sibia. That's correct, my lord. Kwa ngapambi koko tige yom keep hugging him signed the out with Mr. Sibia. When you signed out, Mr. Sibia, and you were working with him to room thirty one, you say. 31, my lord. 31. Did Mr. Sibia actually see those police? On our way to, to yes, no, the, to no. The office. I, I don't think so, man. You don't think okay. so? Okay. Right. Now, at the scene, okay, of the pointing out, you say there were what police? There was only that Metro Police About how many marked of? car. There were two cars. Two cars, you said. Two cars. Yes, there were four, lord. you say. Two, two. Yes. Right. Could Mr. Sibia see them? Because they were not very far, my lord, you could have seen them. Because they were in in the vicinity, but not in in in, in the distance that he could not see them. Yes. Were they, were they in uniform? They were in uniform, my lord. Right. And the police vehicles, the two police vehicles, were they marked? It was marked vehicles, my lord. Right. At any stage, Mr. Sibia said to you, those are the people who assaulted me. 
At no stage has he ever mentioned Didn't make any assault to me. Yes. Those are the people who threatened me, who forced me, who choked me, who assaulted me. No, my lord. They didn't make those allegations. As a kukogela, as she loge kona abakombek, ati gabaya na ila abake bang fagi chup, abang assault, abang sabisa. So those police, in their two two vehicles, they accompanied you again towards the police station. That's correct, my lord. Masas buyela futi ge mufa, a police station ba pinda ge ba hamba nati. And at the police station, did they join you when you were booking in, Mrs. Bia? No, my lord. Where were they at that stage? They were outside. At outside the even the yard, the, at the parking space. But when they followed you from the pointing space arena, yes, man, and accompanied you towards the police station. Yes, were they close to you at the back? No, my lord. Guarding you, where were they? They were at the back, uh, almost three, four cars in between. That 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 distance. And The evidence that you gave to say when Mr. Sibia was taken out of the cell, they were, you said those metropolis were not in the vicinity, were, were not in that CSC office. I never said that. When he was taken out of the cell. By myself. Was, by yourself was it by I yourself said when i entered the csc the metropolis there were were metropolis there. people there yes and i made arrangement and the sergeant came to open for me that's correct and i took mr sibia yes those people walked out they walked out yes so thank you sure you're a good team in the man you're gonna get a man you're gonna be charge office by the corner of the empt a police are not for the lagging mama saying for my love and love by the bar puma my question is, when he was inside, before you took him out, was he in a position to see if there the, the, the were EMPD officers outside, Mr. Sbeer? Was he in that position to see? That they were outside when? Ne next to the cell. Yes, you could see, the, you can see that where he's sitting in the cell. These people are here, here's the CSC. So it's almost some in one one space you also mentioned lieutenant kennel that the accused never reported to you any assault correct no. and in paragraph seven you see paragraph seven which says have you been assaulted threatened by any person in order to influence you to come and make the statement you see that paragraph seven on yes. page two. Yes. 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 To someone who has introduced himself as a poison cool. It was it was in, in a in a format of a threat. I said it diplomatically that he understood. So there was no threat mm. in that in a, in that uh, conversation. Okay. Speaker, he had to move my camera who said 
they are being harassed by criminals. So yes, uh, what you are doing is not as good. As communities, let's make sure we are part of the community police forums. Let's work with the police. Let's tell police what is happening so that they can deal with those criminals. And as we deal with those criminals, let's be alert that this is what they produce. This is what they do to us. But let's make sure that, that we do not have to come here on, on a Sunday or Saturday to bury one of our heroes. Let the federal be somewhere else. To have the tools. Again, we lose on to some things that are short. So, everything is there. And uh, there is no other way of dealing with the criminals, the police, uh, members of SARS. The only way when a criminal tries to shoot you is to shoot back and make sure that you don't get injured or you don't die. There is no other option. You cannot pray. I say, Israel.